Chaim D. Sham. First off, we'd like to say thank you for viewing our channel. Truly, my wife and I, we count it a blessing each and every time you view our videos. We are honored and privileged to have this platform to uplift our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless YouTube for giving us this platform. God bless you for taking heed to the words of the living God. Mm. Today, we have a wonderful word of encouragement for you. It's called Luke Warm. Revelation chapter 3 verse 16 It is written So then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot I will spew thee out of my mouth mm. Lukewarm Read the backstory to Revelation chapter 3. You'll discover uh, a message given to the angel over individual churches or people who are in the body of Christ. The message was not given to organizations, more or less different periods of the church age. The different churches or the body of Christ are praised for their strengths and rebuked for their sin. What a just God we serve who doesn't ignore sin. The Lord also goes on to declare that those who say they are Jews, but they're really not. They will bow themselves before the ones that the Lord loves. <laughs> the ones that the Lord loves are the ones who keeps his word and who doesn't deny his name and that overcomes this world. That's who the Lord loves. The Lord also goes on to tell the angelic messenger to tell his church that he knows everything and will judge those that don't love him with all of their heart, their soul, their mind, and strength. Or those believers that are lukewarm. All this and more happens in Revelation chapter 3. Lukewarm, one that knows God, one that knows his word, one that knows what he stands for, and yet the lukewarm one plays the middle, plays the not on fire, but the not cold. In the world, of the world, but not engulfed in the world. Actually, the lukewarm one plays the game of life with themselves. Thinking that our Heavenly Father doesn't know or see everything from the inside out. I mean, our thoughts are visible to him. Our words that we speak to our Heavenly Father, if they lack conviction, it's because they're not followed up by equivalent actions. One would think when they're a part of the body or a part of the church, and they think to be lukewarm 
is okay. It's not be fully on fire for God. You would seem like you are a fanatic. But to blend the middle ground between the world and not doing everything the world does, but some of the things that the world does. What they don't understand is that at a time of God's choosing, they will be ejected as spit from the mouth. Or as the scripture says, spewed out of his mouth. Lukewarm. The self-deception for one to think that God doesn't know and see everything. That's true self-deception. God knows the thoughts and intents of the heart while you're thinking about doing what you're going to do before you even do it. That has been proved in the days of Noah when mankind was judged for what they intended to do. Hmm. For their imaginations. Hmm. God knows and sees everything. You know, Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. So Jesus defines love by obedience. Not religious activity or a religious appearance. Because he saw that in his day and they didn't love him, they crucified him. Lukewarm or self-deceived. God knows and sees everything. Love him, serve him, or reject him. But don't play with him. Why? Why you can't play with God? When you know the Lord? Uh, because he says, So then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Now if you know the Lord and you're living lukewarm, you need to repent. If you've already been baptized in the water in Jesus' name, if you've already been filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost, you're a part of His body. No matter what position you play. However, if you don't love the Lord your God with all of your heart, your soul, your mind, and your strength, you are self-deceived if you don't think for a second that our Heavenly Father doesn't know it. That He doesn't know the difference between a, a true worship and a half-hearted worship. Between true humility and false humility. He knows and sees everything. Don't be self-deceived. Lukewarm. This has been our word of encouragement for you today. From my beautiful wife and I. Lukewarm is a choice. Please. Don't even think about making that choice. Have a blessed day.